Assalamu alaikum dear viewers, this is my English house aiming at inculcating among the ardent aspirants to solve the language skills. You want to improve your communication skills? You are worried. My English house is the best solution to materialize your dream of speaking English. You can join our live English language development program by downloading our app My English House from Google Play Store. Today I am before you with one of the important topics of English grammar that is direct and indirect speech. How we can narrate things, how we can report things properly. Okay, let us first understand what is this direct and indirect speech. You would have done the narration, you would have, your teachers would have taught the narration to you at many times at your school at, and at different levels. But still there are some confusions, but still you are not able to change direct into indirect and vice versa properly. But today after watching this video, video of 30 minutes you will be quite able you will be efficient you will be the masters in changing direct and indirect speech okay direct into indirect and vice versa it will be at your fingertips okay just have a look first of all let's understand what is direct and indirect speech okay what you are supposed to report okay what you are reporting what you are narrating okay for instance you are your principal, your father happens to visit your school. Okay, surely at uh, many times your father comes to your school, your father visits your school. Okay, he meets principal in his office. There is a conversation, there is a talk between your school principal and your father. Okay, and you are there, you are keenly listening to the conversation, to the talk, to the negotiation, to the discussion between your father and principal. Back home, your mother happens to ask you, okay, what did they discuss? For instance, okay, you now you are reporting the words of the principal and your father before your mother. Okay. These are not your words. It is not your speech. These are not your ideas. But you are just reporting. You are just narrating the ideas, the discussions, the sentences uttered, sentences used by your father and the principal. And you are just a third person. Okay, is you are just okay is uh, narrating the things, reporting the things. But these are not your own. Okay, hope you have got it. Okay, what you are narrating. Okay, these are the words of other people. These are the words of okay th third person and you are just narrating them reporting them for instance have a look okay what is now direct speech and what is indirect speech okay what how you can narrate direct speech and how you can narrate how you can report indirect speech and first of all let you understand let us understand what is direct speech and what is indirect speech okay you may report the words of the principal of father or any other speaker for instance okay in two ways now there are two ways of reporting you are reporting for instance i am giving you an example that you are reporting the talk between your father and principal before your mom and there are two ways of reporting two ways of narrating okay their conversation okay one is you may quote actual words you may quote the actual words of the principal okay you may quote the actual words of the speaker and that is called a direct speech okay you may quote his actual words you may quote the actual words of the speaker here your father a principal or that is called a direct speech actual words what words they use use it the pronouns they use okay the verbs they use exact okay without even a little bit alteration in their utterances in their speech you are not changing it in a, in a okay in a little bit but you are exactly quoting you are exactly reporting the words used by your principal and your dad that is called a direct speech when you are reporting exactly okay and you put the words of the speaker you put the words of the principal in inverted commas okay hope you are getting me the principal says I go to school. For instance, you may report, you may use the reporting verb in present tense, in future tense or in past tense. But here, we are reporting it in present. We are reporting it in present. The principal says, for instance, I go to school. These are the actual words of the speaker. These are not your words. You are just narrating them. You are a third person. Okay? You are you are narrating them. You, you, okay? You see, you are just reporting the words of the principal. The words of the principal. The principal says, I go to school daily. Okay? You are putting the exact words actual words of the principal in inverted commas okay okay this is okay hope you have got it what is direct speech when you quote when you are quoting the exact words of the speaker exact words of the here principal father it is direct speech okay 
like this you may report what they said without quoting without quoting their exact words without using their exact words this is called indirect speech for instance the principal says that okay that he is not using that okay he does not use he uh, okay his okay, he, you are just uh, narrating it in your own way the principal says that he goes to school daily you are just conveying the sense conveying the message conveying the content okay you are bringing a little bit alteration though content is same content is same in indirect speech as well as in direct speech but here you are okay altering the words you are changing the words pronoun as verb okay and even introducing that connect okay is to remove the inverted commas this is called indirect speech and this is direct speech you are quoting the exact words of the speaker actual words of the speaker and you are not quoting the exact words of the speaker you are narrating reporting the words you are reporting the sentences you are reporting the speech in your own way in your own manner style and you are bringing some alterations in the verb in okay yes and uh, in pronouns and you are even okay yes using conjunction that that is called it is indirect speech it is indirect speech direct speech actual words indirect speech not the actual words you are narrating reporting in your own way now before taking on direct speech and indirect speech okay is uh, let us understand first types of sentences if you know the types of sentences on the basis of meaning it will be quite easy for you to change direct speech into indirect speech and vice versa okay hope you are getting me let us first do sentence you know okay is thoroughly i sentence simply a group of words that makes a complete sense is called a sentence sentence you know a group of words that makes a complete sense that is called a sentence okay it begins with a capital letter and it ends on full stop note of interrogation note of exclamation different types of sentences okay if it is assertive sentence it may end on full stop it is interrogative sentence it may end on note of interrogation if it is exclamatory sentence okay then imperative sentence at times it may end on note of exclamation hope you have got it have a look i read a book it is assertive to sentences it begins with a capital letter and ends on full stop it is interrogative it begins with okay yes in capital letter and ends on note of interrogation and there is exclamatory sentence what a wonderful scene it is it ends on note of exclamation now different types of sentences on the basis of meaning have a look assertive sentence it is also called a declarative sentence a sentence that expresses simple statement whether positive or negative is called assertive sentence or declarative sentence example is i write a letter i write a letter it is assertive it is positive okay assertive sentence it express simple statement whether positive or negative here i write a letter it is assertive sentence but it is positive it expresses positive statement and here i don't write a letter it is a negative sentence it is okay it's assertive but it expresses negative statement so it is assertive negative next interrogative sentence what is interrogative sentence a sentence that asks question is called interrogative sentence okay. Okay. it begins with auxiliary verbs or double edged words okay you know auxiliaries we have done auxiliaries if you can uh, if you have uh, forgot auxiliaries then you can rewatch easy tenses there it is there are two types of auxiliaries primary model have has had and there is uh, okay do did done doing and be forms is am or was were and all that and double edged words okay you know when where which whom who okay uh, okay they are double edged words okay the interrogative question is generally either begin with auxiliary verbs are begin with double edged words okay there are two types of interrogatives double edged interrogatives and auxiliary interrogatives okay what is your name it is double edged interrogative it begins with a double edged word it ends on note of interrogation here is are you listening to me it is auxiliary interrogative it begins with auxiliary verb and it also ends on note of interrogation okay have you seen taj mahal it is again auxiliary interrogative it begins with capital letter and ends on note of interrogation okay hope you have got what is interrogative sentence next it is imperative sentence imperative sentence okay to understand narration properly we need to know we need to know the different types of sentence on the basis of meaning it will be quite easy for us to okay is yes, uh, change the narration and tenses uh, we have already done you know tenses you can rewatch the video easy tenses okay if uh, you are well versed in tenses then it will be easy okay tenses and uh, types of sentences narration will be quite easy you can understand that without any problem 
a sentence that expresses command order request or advice okay is command order one and the same thing request or advice is called interrogative sentence is called interrogative sentence bring me a glass of water okay bring it is order bring me a glass of water so it is okay imperative sentence it is order please give me your pen it is request it is okay imperative sentence don't waste your time it is advice imperative sentence advice so imperative sentence expresses command order a command or order request or advice oh here are the instances okay Okay, imperative sentence. Hope you have got it. Now, next it is exclamatory sentence. What is exclamatory sentence? A sentence expressing great emotions such as excitement, surprise, happiness. Okay, is always we are not normal in normal conditions. Sometimes we are excited. Sometimes we are okay is overwhelmed with joy. Sometimes we are in a mesmerizing mode. Sometimes we are disturbed. Sometimes we get wonder struck, surprised. Sometimes we are extremely happy. Different types of okay above normal. Sometimes we are above normal condition. Sometimes we are below normal, okay. And we use okay the sentences in which we express such conditions, okay, excitement and all that. We ex use the sentences are called exclamatory sentences. If you happen to visit a beautiful spot, you have never seen such a scenic beauty earlier, and you at once speak spontaneously, the word comes out. Oh, it is quite beautiful spot. It is quite beautiful spot. You are surprised to see the beauty of the surroundings of a particular okay spot, and you at once speak. Ah, it is quite beautiful spot. Okay, what a handsome boy he is. The boy is quite unique in his special expression. Okay, is he is quite alluring, attractive, and you happen to speak what a what a handsome boy he is. Exclamatory sentence. Okay, it ends on note of exclamation. Again, alas, he died in an accident. You hear the news you on the Facebook or any other okay news portal, and you. Uh, okay, listen to the news of somebody's death, and you start sharing it. Alas, he died in an accident. Okay, somebody you know he died in an accident. Allah save us all from accidents. How nice of him! Somebody, a person, he is playing, he is doing. Okay, uh, he, he shows some conspicuous performance. Okay, some wonderful performance, and he surprises everybody. Then you can really say how nice of him. It is really marvelous. It is really okay, splendid. It is really excellent on anybody's part. Then you say at once how nice of him, and he played it. He did it quite nicely. Okay, it is exclamatory sentence, and a sentence expressing great emotions such as excitement, surprise, happiness. That is called exclamatory sentence, and it ends on note of exclamation. Okay, next it is operative sentence. Operative sentence, a sentence that expresses wish, prayer, curse. Okay, sometimes wish, sometimes prayer, curse. Okay, is uh, example. May you live long. Anybody happen to pray for you? Okay, wishes you a long life. Okay, may you live long. And you uh, at times wish you pray for anybody your uh, nearer and dearer, your close comrade, your associate. May you live long. May you live long. Okay, and uh, have a good journey. Somebody is supposed to go. For, um, okay, start his journey, uh, and you can wish him. You can say him have a good journey. Have a good journey. Okay, Allah fulfill all your dreams. You're praying for anybody. May Allah fulfill all your dreams. Is whatever you want to achieve in your life, may Allah fulfill your dreams. May Allah fulfill your okay, yes, uh, ambition. Hell to you, somebody disturbs you, create something nonsense, okay, create something quite okay, yes, uh, um, panicking, and you say hell to you, and this is curse and all that. And hope you have got what is operative sentence, it expresses wish, prayer, or uh, curse, okay, it is that is called operative sentence. Now it will be quite easy for us to change the narration, okay, is yes. now have a Look at the very first rule. Very first rule. Okay, change the narration. How you can change the narration? If you are reporting things, how you can okay report things in two ways? Okay, is uh, one direct speech and and another indirect speech. If you have all if okay things have been reported in direct, how you can change them into indirect speech? If they are reported in indirect, how you can change them into how we can change them into direct speech? Okay, let's have a look. He says, I write a letter. Okay, this part. Part of the sentence is called it is indirect direct speech. This part is called okay is it is called reporting verb. Only in direct speech it, there is reporting verb, and this is called reported speech. Hope you have got it. He says it is reporting verb, and this is reported speech. 
This is reported speech. Okay. Rule first. Now have a look at the rule first. We'll make things. We know tenses. Okay. We know kinds of sentence on the basis of meaning. Okay. Now rule first. It will be quite easy fast to okay do the narration. Have a look. When reporting verb is in present tense or future tense, no change will take place in the tense of the reported speech except the change of pronouns. When reporting verb is in present tense, here have a look at says. It is in present tense. Says, said, said, saying, says. Okay. It's past is said. It is in present tense. All the tenses in the reported speech will okay remain unchanged. Only pronouns will get changed. Okay. When reporting verb is in present tense or future tense, no change will take place in the tense. In the tense, I told you if it is present tense, it will remain on present tense. If it is past tense, it will remain past tense, even in indirect speech. If it is future, it will remain future, even in okay, indirect speech. Okay, because reporting verb is this reporting verb is having the okay is a command. This is commanding. This is this is controlling the whole reported speech. Okay, how we can change it, how we can change it into indirect speech, it depends upon this reporting verb. It depends upon this reporting verb. The tense will get changed as per the reporting verb. If it is in present tense, no change. Okay. If it is in past tense, then we will do when we will do rule second. Now it is okay. We change. No change will take place in the tense of the reported speech when change in index speech. When okay, um, there is a condition. The condition is when reporting verb is in present tense or future tense. Have a look. We change just pronouns. I change into he or she. It depends upon the subject of the okay subject of the reporting verb. If that is okay with he then it, it will get changed into he okay hi will get changed if that, this is she or any female it will get changed into okay she hope you are getting me we they we is changed into they you into i me into him or her you are my he no change they no change other pronouns too are okay how they are changed we will do it in okay during the lecture okay he says i read a book have a look but first of all we have done types of sentences it is important to keep the mind keep in mind all the types of sentences that we have done just before few minutes okay have a look he says i read a book this is assertive sentence when there are the, there are assertive sentences in reported speech okay when uh, or assertive sentences or we also call them declarative sentences when there are assertive or assertive sentences in reported speech okay we remove inverted commas and we just put there we replace them with conjunction that we use that we use we use that okay in we remove conjunction with inverted commas and we introduce conjunction that in between okay have a look he says that and only pronouns are changed no change in tense if this was present simple and again in indirect speech it is present simple no change in tense no change in tense only pronouns are changed have a look but in assertive sentences assertive sentence whether positive or negative inverted commas are removed and conjunction that is introduced conjunction that is introduced have a look he says that he reads <coughs> a book alhamdulillah he says that he reads a book you know when subject is third person singular we use v5 only in present simple okay here now in this I is changed into he, okay, and uh, as per the subject of this reporting verb, so we are using here verb reads v5. He reads a book on a conjunction that is introduced because it is in essay to sentences again and again, okay. I'm telling you, okay, a conjunction that is used, okay, to remove the inverted commas and all that. Ryle says, I was playing cricket. Ryle says, I was playing cricket. Again, this is past continuous. No change in the tense of the reported speech. Why? Because reporting verb is in present tense. And keep in mind, we are doing assertive sentences. Just removing, okay, uh, inverted commas, introducing conjunction that, and okay, only pronouns are changed. Have a look. Ryle says that he was playing cricket. Okay, he was playing cricket. No change in tense. So simple. Quite easy. Assertive sentences. Assertive sentences is reporting verb in present tense reporting verb in present tense okay we are doing exercise on this okay assertive sentences reporting verb in present tense rule first no change in the tense of the reported speech when reporting verb is in present tense only pronouns are changed and we introduce we use conjunction that to remove the commas Ryle says that he was playing cricket Ryle says that he was playing cricket okay just only there is change in pronouns and conjunction is introduced no change in tense 
tense because the reporting verb is in present tense have a look sabha says my father is a teacher okay sabha says my father is a teacher sabha says that how father is a teacher okay you my into her because it depends upon the subject of the reporting verb this is sabha she is girl and this my will get changed into her okay that is introduced it is assertive sentences the remove inverted commas no change in tense this was present simple it is again present simple here how far father is a teacher Hope you have got it. Hazik says, "I wrote a letter. I wrote a letter. It is past simple. No change in tense because the reporting verb is in present tense. It is assertive sentences. It is assertive sentences. To remove inverted commas, we introduce conjunction that Hazik says that he wrote a letter. Hazik says that he wrote a letter. Hope you have got it. Rashid says, "My father gave me ten rupees." Rashid says, "My father gave me ten rupees." Rashid says again assertive sentence. Again assertive. to sentence okay that his father gave him 10 rupees that his father gave him 10 rupees hope you are getting me next the teacher says my father loves me more than my sister the teacher says my father loves me more than my sister again reporting verb in present tense the reported speech is assertive sentence it is okay in present simple again the teacher says okay just to remove inverted commas we introduce that in assertive sentences his father only change in pronouns my his because he, it is male here it is masculine here so my will get changed into his his father me into him his father gave him more his okay father loves him more than his sister hope you are getting me sabha says your sister gave me your pen your sister gave me your pen okay again sabha says that my sister your my sister gave her me into her it depends upon the subject of the sentence reporting verb Gave her my pen. My sister gave her my pen. Okay. Tabinda says, "I always help my friends in need." Tabinda says, "I always help my friends in need." Again, reporting verb in present tense. It is assertive sentence. No change in tense of the reported speech. Only pronouns will get changed, and it is assertive sentence. We remove commas. We introduce their uh, conjunction that have a look. Tabinda says that she always helps her friends in need. Hope you have got it. Next, interrogative sentences. <laughs> Okay, interrogative sentences. I told you there are two types of interrogatives: double edge interrogatives and auxiliary interrogatives. Double edge interrogatives begin with double edge words: when, what, where, who, how, whom, and all that. And auxiliary is am, are, how, do. For, okay, and all the be forms. Okay, have a look. Abid says, "What is your name?" Okay, when it is double edge interrogative, no conjunction is used at all. No word is used. No word is okay added to remove the commas. To remove the inverted it commas have a look abhi says what is your name it is question so this says will we just alter this says into chat ask us abhi ask us what my name is no change it is okay uh, reporting verb is in present tense no change in the tense of this okay, reported speech only pronouns will get changed and it is interrogative question nothing is nothing new is added okay as we use it to add introduce uh, to remove commas inverted commas in assert sentences we okay is yes, introduce it there conjunction that but here nothing is introduced in case of interrogative interrogative double edge interrogatives in double edge interrogatives okay there is something we use if or whether we will discuss in auxiliary interrogatives but here nothing only this says it is question it is says i will ask us what my name is okay Tabinda says, "How are you?" Tabinda says, "How are you?" Again, double edge question. Nothing will be added to the sentence when changed into indirect speech. Okay, only says will get. We change this says into ask us how I am and remove commas, remove inverted commas. Okay, and also the question mark we put it we put full stop here. Direct. Omar says, "When did you return?" When did this is this is past simple. No change in tense. Okay, Omar ask us. I told you it is interrogative. Says. and to ask us umar ask us when i returned when i returned okay when i returned okay have a look past simple it remains past simple okay subjective okay we too okay imran says where do you live again it is 
interrogative double edged interrogative imran asks us where i live where i live hope you have got it next now auxiliary questions auxiliary interrogatives beginning with is do or have be formal okay there are so many be formal i told you is am or was where been being and do did done doing does have has had and all that and uh, okay there are model auxiliaries okay can could may might shall should will not will okay would and ought okay must and all that have a look amir says do you like me Amir says, "Do you like me?" Amir asks if I like him. I told you when. Okay, the reported verb is auxiliary interrogative, so we are introducing to remove the inverted commas if or whether. Either if or whether. Okay, to remove the inverted commas, and this says again it is question says is changed into ask us. Okay, Amir asks us if I like him. This okay, the question mark is also removed. We put full stop here. Ask us if. Okay, in case of auxiliary interrogatives, beginning with auxiliary verbs, we have done auxiliary verbs. Okay, and we just remove inverted commas and introduce there at there if or whether w h e t h e r w e t h e r whether okay that is not. Right. Amir asks us if I like him. Hope you have got it. Next, Sana says, "Are you happy?" Again, auxiliary interrogative. Sana says, "Sana asks us if I am happy." No change in tense. It will remain present because reporting verb is in present tense. Have a look. Nuran says, "Have you taken tea?" Nuran asks us if I have taken tea. Pre present perfect. It will remain present perfect because reporting verb is in present tense. Okay. Raja says, "Why are you absent yesterday? It is in past simple reported speech, and no change in okay tense of the reported speech. Only Raja asks us if I was absent yesterday. Simple okay change we are doing here. Simple okay is direct into indirect we are doing here. Taha says, 'Why are they at school today?'" Taha asks us if they were at school today. If they were okay, if they were at school, though they no change okay in reported speech. Taha asks us. If they were at school today, hope you have got it. Next, Arif says, "Is this your pen?" Arif asks us if it is my pen. If it is my pen, again, auxiliary question. Okay, we remove inverted commas. And if or whether it is my pen, or says into ask us, it is question. Okay, so says ask us. Okay, hope you have got it. Now imperative sentences. The express order request advice. The express order request advice. Uh, there we have done. Have a look. Sabha says. Okay, we have done assertive sentences. How we can change assertive sentences? Reporting verb present tense. Assertive sentences. We remove, remove commas. Add con conjunction that. Okay, and then interrogative. Double interrogatives. Nothing is added. Only commas are removed. Says into ask us. Okay. Yes. Now in auxiliary questions, we add if or whether. Okay, to remove the inverted commas and says into ask us. Now imperative sentences. Order request or okay command order request advice. Sabha says don't waste your time sabha says okay don't waste your time not to waste my time not to here we use it is okay don't waste do not waste your time do not waste your time it is negative advice so not to okay when it is past to to only to here not to not to we introduce not to not to waste my time not to don't not to okay sabha advises me it is advice sabha advises me not to waste says it will change into advises me okay sabha advises me not to waste my time not to waste my time okay and what it comes okay are removed <laughs> sorry and say it is full stop abid says don't smoke cigarettes okay don't smoke mistakenly okay here a note of interrogations but it is just full stop abid says abid abid okay advises me not to smoke cigarettes now abid advises me not to smoke cigarettes okay abid advises me so not to smoke cigarettes majid says respect your teacher respect your teacher okay respect your teacher majid advises me to respect my teacher majid advises me to respect my teacher sohil says please help me sohil says please help me okay okay it is in note of interrogation mistakenly put here again i am okay emphasizing the fact sohil says please help me okay sohil requests me to help him sorry sohil requests me to help him to okay is here to help him hope you have got it next it is musa says bring me a glass of water it is order musa orders me to bring him a glass of water so simple okay to the teacher says get out of class order the teacher orders the students to get out of class okay the teacher orders the, here though there is no object direct object but it is understood always the audience of the teachers are students 
sees uh, he can direct and command on his students the teacher direct orders the students to get out of class okay my mother says don't go out in dark my mother says don't go out it is again it okay it is advised but she forbids my mother forbids mana karti my mother forbids me to go out in dark okay next the manager says to the customer you must have okay you must leave my room at once the manager orders the customer to leave his room at once orders the customer to leave his to okay to leave his to okay when it is past to and when it is negative not to to leave his room at once hope you have got it next exclamatory sentences exclamatory sentences you know expression of joy sorrow applause sometimes you admire somebody okay is uh, wonder surprise sometimes you regret okay uh, in exclamatory sentences now have a look replace uh, says says to with we can replace for uh, instance hora okay if it is hora if it is it is hora okay says says to says to he says okay hora is replaced with exclaims with joy for instance okay abid says hora i qualified need abid uh, is uh, exclaims with joy so hora is changed in uh, replaced in indirect speech with exclaims with joy okay have a look alas exclaims with sorrow alas exclaims with sorrow bravo exclaims with applause oh exclaims with regret what how what how exclaims with surprise what how okay something disgusting okay exclaims ex exclaims with disgust okay sometimes what how something is disgusting something is okay um, quite perturbing okay is pathetic so we can say exclaims with disgust and inverted commas are removed we even use here in optative sentences that to remove inverted commas remove interjections bravo o oh, okay we remove the interjections bravo o oh. <laughs> For instance, we interjections are removed. Interjections are removed in indirect speech. Okay, when we change exclamatory sentences into indirect speech, then no okay interjections are again used again. Okay, written in indirect speech. Have a look. And this okay note of exclamation is changed into full stop. Hope you have got it. Have a look. Richa says, "Alas, I failed." Richa exclaims with sorrow. exclaims with sorrow 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 that she failed richa exclaims with sorrow that she failed okay that we uh, remove commas we use that she failed rabia says rabia rabia says wow what a beautiful flower it is rabia says wow what a beautiful exclaims with wonder she got wonder struck okay at the beauty of the flower and she, rabia exclaims with wonder that it is a beautiful flower rabia exclaims with wonder that it is a beautiful flower salim says how clever i am salim says okay he is surprised at his cleverness okay you can say salim exclaims with surprise that he is very clever salim exclaims with surprise that he is very clever the king says how foolish of me the king okay confesses uh, okay with regret the, the king confesses with regret that he is very foolish the king confesses with regret that he is very foolish hope you are getting me he exclaims with he says bravo he killed the maid dog okay he exclaims with applause okay applause he admires the okay is bravery he admires the bravery of somebody the courage of somebody the uh, he exclaims with applause that he killed the mad dog okay the new principal sorry the new principal says what a dirty classroom he is disgusted at the filthiness at the dirt of the classroom the new principal exclaims with disgust that the classroom is very dirty the new principal exclaims with disgust he is disgusted okay detested okay at the filthiness at the uncleanness of the room and he exclaims with disgust that the classroom is very dirty okay hope you have got it next optative sentences optative sentences dance they express wish prayer curse okay you know we have done it the old man says to his son may allah bless you we can exchange it into uh, indirect speech by two ways the old man wishes his son that allah may bless him uh, the old man wishes his son that allah may bless him the old man prays that allah may bless his son the old man prays that allah may bless his son the old man wishes that his son that um, okay allah may bless him okay 
they say may allah save you our young generation may allah save our young generation they pray that allah may save their young generation okay our into their okay they say they pray that allah may save their young generation that is used here again in a said sentence we use that three more commas in octative sentence we use that okay is they pray okay he says may you live long he wishes me a long life okay this he say may he prays that i may live long it is appropriate he wishes me a long life it is appropriate okay we can express it in direct speech in two ways he prays that i may live long he wishes me a long life my friend says have a good journey my friend wishes me a good journey okay hope you have got it next okay he he says good morning he says good morning he wishes me a good morning he wishes me a good morning he says i wish i were the prime minister he wishes that he were a prime minister he wishes that he were we okay here we are using plural of this auxiliary so when it is wish we, it is used plural uh, verb is used okay he wishes that he were a prime minister hope you have got okay with this we finish okay the rule first of narration in next video i shall meet you with rule second inshallah with that we will finish and after you watch this video it will be quite easy for you to understand our next okay video of rule second of changing direct speech into indirect speech i think it is enough for the day thank you very much